Hi everyone, I'm Catherine from Bistory and in this video I will be looking at metrics. This is a great new feature that comes with the 2020.2 release of Tableau Server. So this is what they look like here in grid view. They are livable thumbnails that show at a glance the latest value of the desired measure, along with the time that it was updated and a spark line if you created it from a chart with a date element. And in list view, we can still clearly see the latest value of the measure. So if we click into a metric, we can hover along and see previous values. And we can also see details about the metric, such as the owner and the connected view. So we'll now create a metric if we go into a dashboard. We can select anywhere on a viz and then click the metrics button. So it doesn't matter where I've clicked on this viz, it will always show the latest value here. Um, we have a spark line because there's a date axis here and we're asked to choose a measure. So by default, it will choose the one that's on the axis. Uh, but it can also choose other measures that are in the view. So here we have profit and sales on the tooltip. Um, so we can use them here and it will change. But we'll stick to this here, the running sum, and we can change the title here. And this is where you can choose a project to put in. We'll create another one from this fizz here. So we can select here. And uh, metrics also respect filters. So if we only want to see the home office segment, we can filter here and it will change in the preview. And we can change the title to reflect this and create it. So I've shown you how to create metrics and what they look like on desktop. The metrics are actually optimised for mobile use. So now we'll switch to mobile view. So we're now in Tableau Mobile and we can see our metrics here at the top of the project. And if we go into the metrics, we can see that the running sum of sales is the only one with a spark line. And for the ones with spark lines, you can click on the number and it will show you a comparison. So we can see this month versus last month in absolute number. And if we click it again, we can see percentage increase. And if we go in here, we can drag along like we did in desktop and see the previous values and also here versus the previous month. And we can go in here, adjust and compare, and we can change the date range. And we can also change the previous month to compare into the previous year. And we can show a comparison line. So now here we can see that we're comparing July versus July 2019 and we can see the previous year in grey along here.